Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be doing my end of the year reflections for my pre k -er. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, I'm Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and I just finished my third year of homeschool, you guys. So um, in today's video, I am going to recap you on my pre k -er's homeschooling year, all the things that she got up to, really both of my younger two kiddos because they pretty much did all most of these things together with a primary focus on my uh, four-year-old at the time, Leia. Leia turned five in March, and um, you guys, I'm so proud of her, of all the accomplishments that she made this year. Um, and I'm gonna briefly go over some of the things that she did, and I'm so proud of her. First and foremost, um, Leia, she worked really, really hard this homeschooling year because she has a speech delay. So um, we worked very closely with her speech pathologist, and you guys, we were faithful in and doing all of our speech therapy sessions. It definitely was like a big commitment in doing those speech therapy sessions with her, but I seen tremendous growth just overall in her speech. And I'm so proud of her because I know she worked so hard when it came to that. Um, something else that I'm really, really happy that we did her pre-K year was we did a lot of art, you guys. I'm gonna show you some of the art that I did with my kiddos. Look at these turkey hands. Like I'm never going to forget making these with my kiddos. I have like some of their Christmas tree arts that we did together, um, fall apple art, and also, you know, another turkey art. So we got up to like a lot of arts and crafts and most of these arts and crafts and things like this, you guys, I found on Pinterest. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I took out the time to do art. We did messy art every Friday or at least most Fridays. I dedicated that time for a uh, messy art in the afternoon and I'm so happy uh, that I did that. Um, something else that Leia has mastered this homeschooling year is she mastered all of her letter sounds. Her and my youngest Alana has mastered their letter sounds and they are working on blend ladders and beginning CVC words. So I'm really, really proud of them uh, for that. Leia has mastered the scissors. You guys, she is getting it with those scissors. So I'm really, really happy she's mastered her scissor skills and she also has mastered um, her handwriting with all of her uppercase letters and she knows how to write her first name. We're still working on that last name because our last name is pretty long but um those are all the accomplishments that Leia did this year and I'm so, so proud of her. Um, some of my regrets this homeschooling year for her is that I really wish that I got a better routine and schedule with her. Um, I feel like I was inconsistent this homeschooling year with her routine. I was just doing school whenever and I didn't really have a consistent flow for her until like now, to really be honest with you. Um, I kind of was just doing school whenever and maybe that did work because she was younger, but going on into to like our uh, summer homeschooling plans and into our fall semester. I definitely want to have a more consistent routine with uh, Leia in particular so she can know what to expect. Leia is uh, that middle child, you guys. And you know, you have to grab their attention. Her attention span is really, really short. And I definitely have to be prepared in teaching her. And she definitely thrives well when I have a structure and she knows what's next. Um, so my second regret for our pre-K year is I wish I would have read more picture books with them you guys I read a few but I feel like I should have read a little bit more um my uh next regret is that I really wish that I prioritized um Leia and Alana's education as the same priority as my oldest daughter and now that they all are like you know in school age I should say I'm definitely going to prioritize Leia's education and not like always say okay well I need to focus on Brielle I really want to make sure like I'm putting in that time for her and my last regret for our pre-k years I wish I did it more like sensory play like them playing in the mud them playing outside and things like that I definitely want to go ahead and get them a mud kitchen you guys um, and have them just be crazy outside and really get their hands dirty uh, we went to the beach you guys and the kiddos they absolutely loved it they loved the sand and I definitely want to incorporate that even though we're not close to a beach and we can't go there every day I want to incorporate like that sensory hands-on play because it's so so beneficial to them so you guys let's go ahead and get into the curriculum that I use and for the most part you guys um 
all of the curriculum I enjoyed. I really don't have any cons, so I'm just going to share with you guys the curriculum that we used and where we left off um, ending her pre-K year. So first and foremost, the first curriculum we started off with was a gentle and classical preschool. We started this with her towards the end or towards like uh, the end of summer. So uh, we started this the summer of her pre-K years, pretty much when we started a gentle and classical preschool. We absolutely love this program. We completed it. Um, this program pairs along with this book right here called Preschool Math at Home. It's a lot of components to a gentle and classical preschool. Um, some of the picture books that we read or we read a picture book each week with gentle and classical preschool so here is like the picture book we would read for the first unit and it has a nursery rhyme manners and hygiene the math of course pairs with the preschool math at home book um we also did the like all about me section and that's where she learned like her name her first name my name my first name my uh, husband's name and his first name and last name um she also learned about her state her uh, country her address her telephone number her um all of like those important nitty-gritty things she learned with using this program and I used all of like the little um memory statement cards when it came to that uh we worked on like character and then we also worked on a scripture um the books that we used for the bible devotion was the big thoughts for little people and you guys I'm still using this book to this day because I absolutely love it the little uh rhymes and stuff is so cute at the beginning like uh this one right here it's O. So it says, O is for obey when you do as you're told. It makes your parents glad. They won't punish or scold. And it's really, really cute how it has the comprehension questions to what's happening in the picture. And this is just such a cute devotion. And we're still using this for the kiddos in our morning basket. So I really, really like the flow of Gentle and Classical Preschool. Um, for example, here goes all the memory statement cards we would have used for the first unit. So this would be like our memory verse. I am with you always the nursery rhyme for that first unit would be uh rain rain go away the two uh or the catechism question would be um who is god or who made me god made me and then it has like a little rhyme where it says i'm patient i put off for later what i want right now and then this right here is the math card that correlates with the math book because in the first chapter of preschool math at home you're going over numbers one to five and it also incorporates uh some colors so this was like an all-in-one program. You do have to do a lot of prep work for a gentle and classical preschool. Here's like all the rest of my memory statement cards, my math cards and things like that. So as we completed each unit, I will go ahead and take out the cards that I need. Now in a gentle and classical preschool, they do recommend you having a memory board, but I found it was easier just to laminate my cards and use them at the breakfast table and have the kiddos actually touch them. And that was uh, really beneficial to them. So we absolutely love that program and that was our main program when it came to like her um preschool for her phonics you guys we did all about reading pre-reading and you guys like i am so happy i did this program with leia this one actually focuses a lot on the rhyming skills and the rhyming is a good precursor to actually reading uh this actually goes over the letter sounds and then letter recognition she already knew her letter recognition and all of her sounds before going into this program i really focused on the syllables the rhyming games uh using all of the all about reading pre-reading flashcards we we also had Ziggy who was fun. Sometimes Ziggy was a little bit distracting, but he was fun in uh, the overall program. Uh, when it came to the art and the all about reading pre-reading, I did some of the all about reading pre-reading uh, crafts, but we ended up making our own alphabet portfolio. Um, and you guys, I absolutely loved how our alphabet portfolio turned out at the end of our school year and Leia loved it so much. So I didn't do all all of like the um, letter crafts in the All About Reading Proof Reading, we kind of made up our own letter crafts, which was so much fun. So I definitely took out all of the nuggets and all the meat out of this program, but we did our own uh, arts and crafts, which was perfectly fine because I really feel like um, I seen a difference when it came to like her speech as well when we did the All About Reading Proof Reading program. Her speech pathologist noticed a difference in her uh, speech.
speech. Uh, as soon as we was like probably a month into this program, her speech therapist noticed a difference. So uh, this program was definitely beneficial to uh, Leia just overall and helping with that speech, that speech development. And I definitely think that this is going to be a great precursor going into All About Reading Level 1. So we finished the Gentle and Classical Preschool in December of this school year. So when we went into January, we were just working on all about reading, pre-reading, and we were kind of like finishing up other things. We also did the Learning Without Tears, my first handwriting book. And you guys, this book was so much fun doing it with Leia. She enjoyed this a lot. Um, I just let her color in it and I just let her have a ball uh, learning all of her uppercase letter formations. The key to this success in this program right here was definitely this chalkboard right here and what I was doing was I was following the letter formations in the my first kindergarten book and teaching her her letter formations with the chalk and um, she was following it along with the sponge and this really really helped her so we would practice whatever letter we were working on all week so like let's just say in, in a gentle and classical preschool the letter was L we would focus on the letter L and her all about um not her all about in her get ready for the cold handwriting without tears so she would practice it on the chalkboard she would practice it on her uh, preschool morning binder all week long and then on that Friday she would go ahead and do her letter in in her um her handwriting without tears book and this was great so um we definitely enjoyed this program it was definitely so much fun some other skills again like i said for leia for her cutting skills we used these kumon books which were so great i really really enjoyed these ones um as you can see we do have a couple more activities left in this one the pasting one but she really really enjoyed this one i have a lot left in the cutting book so we can definitely uh use this one in our kindergarten year as she's still like practicing those cuts cutting skills. Now, as far as uh, Leia's handwriting, when we completed this book right here for handwriting, what I did was I just made a copy of her letters on this dry erase sleeve. And I just had her practice her letters in the second semester, just only on her dry erase sleeve. Since we finished this book, she wasn't quite ready to make the jump into the next handwriting book. So I just continued to practice her uppercase letters. And she really, really enjoyed using this one right here. Um, so when we get into January, you guys now we're into January when we hit into January and as you can see we were finishing off a lot of our curriculum I was ready to like make the next jump for Leia into like some kindergarten work um, but I did want to take my time with her so we went straight into kindergarten math with confidence and we are still working in this and we really really enjoy kindergarten math with confidence um, we still are enjoying it and um, she worked in this from January until May and then we also worked in math you see primer is another math curriculum that she did and again she loves math so much we only did these two math programs and we practiced her handwriting all the way up until May uh, so January to May and then we read literature so that was kind of like what we did to like appease her because she was kind of like in between that level of pre-k work and kindergarten work but not quite ready to make that next initial jump so that's kind of like what I did and I kind of like took it easy and kind of like eased um, Leia into that next transition. Uh, now that we're working in the summer, again, we are working in both of our math curriculums. And I also added in elemental phonics for her as she's working on like her blend ladders and she's working on CVC words as well to make her into like the next transition of all about reading uh, level one. Um, so you guys like this is really all the things that I got up to with Leia in her pre-k year. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm so happy with all of the curriculum picks that um, I did with her. We had a lot of fun and I definitely want to keep up the momentum and in going into our next school year with her. Um, I really want to do things a lot differently than I did with Brielle and starting off our homeschool year. I want to keep it fun. I want to keep it light. I want to keep it simple and I want her to always look forward to coming to the table when it comes to homeschooling. Um, I definitely know that uh, progress takes time. They're not going to finish and complete a whole book of curriculum as fast as you want them to do. Um, I think uh, taking it slow and easy is always best and especially with Leia and her speech delay. I'm going to take it slow and easy. I'm going to go at her pace if she goes faster in math than she does in her phonics. That's just how it's going to roll here in my homeschool. I definitely don't want to push her. I definitely want to continuously see growth in her and in her education and I really want it to be fun especially in these younger years. 
So you guys, I really hope you enjoy seeing my end of the year reflections for uh, Leia. I have really not that many regrets and um, I'm really, really happy again with all of her progress. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.